Hi. Today we're going to be demonstrating this uh, really quick lab evaluation and skill that you're going to have on uh, drawing up medications. So I'm just going to start here with the uh, multi-drop, uh, the, the multi-dose bottle with a dropper. Very simple and easy to do. What you're going to do is you're going to read the label and you're going to make sure you have the right medication first. Um, this is an albuterol sulfate in a 0.5% solution concentration and um, I read the label and I see it's 5 milligrams per ml. Um, the unit dose or the dosage of albuterol is 2.5 milligrams so that means we're going to be drawing up one half of a milliliter. So as I open my syringe I've also checked the expiration date to make sure that my medicine is not expired which this one is not and I pull my dropper out and I see it is divided into uh, 0.5 mils and 0.25 mils. So for 2.5 milligrams, I'm gonna draw up a half a mil. I'm going to just put my dropper into the solution. I'm gonna squeeze it as I put it into the bottle. And then when I release the pressure on the dropper, I have my fluid drawn up inside the column of the dropper. And if you remember from physics, you have a little meniscus um, as fluid, the, the wall of the fluid likes to creep up the sides of, of a cylinder and you're going to read the very center of that fluid line as your, your um, amount that you need. So I've got a little bit more than half a mil in here. I need to get rid of just a little bit of it. And so I'm going to carefully just push on the top of the dropper until I get it down to the half mil. Okay, and notice I'm not touching my uh, dropper onto anything. I have a half mil here, and I'm gonna dispense it into my nebulizer cup. When you go to dispense it also, notice you're going to take care not to touch the sides of your nebulizer because that would contaminate your dropper. And I just dispense it back in there. Okay, things to remember is occasionally you'll get a, a, an air bubble in here or you may not have enough and you have to go back in so you have to kind of shake it and if you'll very slowly pull that medication up that usually keeps you from getting air bubbles in it okay so that is our dropper bottle now this would have to be diluted with some saline so we have a unit dose uh, vial of normal saline always check to make sure that the the uh, vial that you've picked up is what you want it to be so read the label on it this says 0.9% sodium chloride solution, um, and it is sterile, not for injection. And if I turn this thing upside down, I can see uh, this little guy has just a little over two milliliters of solution in it. So I am going to dispense my saline into my nebulizer cup. I'm gonna throw this away in the trash. Don't leave it laying around. And now my nebulizer is loaded with medication. I'll go ahead and proceed to administer this to my patient. When I'm done with my treatment, remember that you want to carefully uh, remove any excess medication from that and close it back up and put it back in the bag for storage till the next treatment. Okay, our next um, demonstration here is going to be on drawing up through a multi-dose uh, vial. And here again, we've checked our label. We want to make sure um, that we are using the correct medication. We're going to take an alcohol wipe and wipe off the top of the, the bottle. And now I'm going to prepare my syringe. I'm going to draw up two milliliters of solution from this vial today. So you make sure that you have a syringe that will hold at least two milliliters. This is a three milliliter syringe. As you apply the needle, this remember is a lure lock needle, so you wanna make sure that you screw the needle down until it won't go down there any further. So it's on there snugly. If you fail to do that, you'll draw up air bubbles um, as you're uh, trying to pull up your medication. So if that, if you're getting a lot of air bubbles, check to make sure that your syringe is 
is needle is on there snugly. Okay, so now we're going to carefully remove the cap and I'm going to push this down into the top of the rubber vial. Make sure that your tip of your needle is inside the fluid in your medication bottle. And now we're just going to pull back very slowly and we're going to pull back until we have our two milliliters of medication plus a little bit more. Okay. Once I have that, I'm going to remove my stopper bottle. I'm going to hold this up and now I'm going to push my syringe up until I am reading two milliliters of medication. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but I've got two milliliters of medication drawn up. Now I need to recap my needle. Remember this is not a two-handed process. This is a one-handed scoop. So you come down here and you're going to scoop the cap onto the tip of the needle again and we are going to remove this needle because you would not want to utilize this again. So at this point I've got a little cap. We don't have to, thank heavens, have, don't have to inject anyone so we don't need the needles on there and it's just easier to go ahead and put a cap on here. So I'm going to screw this little cap on there. At this point I would label my syringe with the content of the medication that's in there, put my name and uh, the date and the time that I drew this up um, so that I know precisely who it's for and what is in it. Okay, so that's the multi-dose bottle. And then finally, we're gonna look at drawing up medication from a glass vial. My glass vial is right here and sometimes these little critters get uh, medication up in the top of them. So if you kind of hit them with your fingernail, the medication will go back down into the base. You will notice that there's a little scored line right around the neck of the bottle. And that's where we're going to be popping the top off, so to speak. I want to go ahead and prepare my needle. And I'm going to draw up from the vial um, one, one half mil of medication. And when I draw from a glass vial, I need to use a filtered needle um, because there may be small pieces, shards of glass that have, have found their way to the bottom of the medication bottle. We certainly do not want to dispense those to our patient. So I'm going to carefully open my needle and I'm going to screw it down onto my syringe here again make sure you've got the proper size syringe for the job that you're wanting to do get my cap ready to go here okay all right so the first thing is to open the vial itself so i'm going to take a, a an alcohol wipe or you could use a folded over paper towel but i'm going to cover that over that area uh, that little neck of the bottle and i'm going to open that and see it just popped open. Do it away from you so that you don't have glass flying in your eye. Remember this is going to be a sharp. And now I get my needle. Here again I've screwed it down and I remove the cap and I'm just going to put it into the vial. Here again I'm just going to pull back on this. Slowly dispersing the medication up until I get a little bit more than I need. And I said we were gonna draw up half a mil. I have just a little bit more than that. And now I've got a big air bubble at the bottom of this, so I've gotta get that out of the way. So I'm just gonna hit this until the air bubble finds its way out of the syringe. Air always travels up. Once we've got the air bubble out of the way. Now I have just medication in my syringe and I have more than I need, so I'm going to push out down to half a mil where I have the correct dosage. Now I need to recap my needle. Here again, the one-handed scoop method. I'm not gonna to touch that cap. Okay, once you get it 
on there, you can use a second hand. I'm going to dispense and get rid of my feed filtered needle. This goes into the sharks container. And now I need to put my other cap on my medication. I would label it at this point. Once I get ready to dispense this medication, now I'm going to just remove this cap. You do not use, uh, you do not dispense back through your filtered needle because that would contain shards of glass possibly. And we would not want those to go to our patients. So once we get ready to dispense it, if I pretend this little cup is my nebulizer, I just dispense my medicine. This is now going to go into the sharps as well as my glass vial. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you don't have any further questions. If you do, let us know and we'll be happy to answer those.